One of the most anticipated astronomical occurrences is the Betelgeuse supernova, which is a crimson supergiant star nearing the end of its existence in the constellation Orion. Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the night sky, yet it began to mysteriously decrease in brightness in late 2019. Because the fading was so apparent, it could be observed with unassisted eyes. For several months, the star's brilliance faded, and observers worried if Betelgeuse had reached the end of its life. Despite the fact that the red giant star's brightness returned to normal after a few months, astronomers were surprised to find evidence of the enormous dimming when they focused some of the most powerful telescopes on it. This star is on the verge of bursting as it nears the end of its existence. When and why is a supernova likely to occur, and would it be disastrous for Earth? Let's look into it. Betelgeuse, a brilliant ruby-red sparkling star, may be seen in the winter constellation Orion the Hunter's top right shoulder. It is also known as Alpha Orionis, and is the second brightest star in the constellation, after the blue supergiant Rigel. Betelgeuse is an appealing target for star studies and observations due to its changing nature and strange name. Despite the fact that Rigel, Orion's other great star, is brighter, stars with the designation Alpha are usually the brightest in their constellations. Betelgeuse, Alpha Orionis, is a well-known star due to its name, brightness, size, and reddish tint. Betelgeuse is the tenth brightest star in the sky and the seventh brightest star visible from most of North America, Europe, and Canada. The Arabic phrase that inspired the name translates as the giant's armpit. Surprisingly, astronomers have not been able to pinpoint Betelgeuse's precise distance from Earth, however, they believe it to be between 430 and 724 light years away. In our galaxy, just 200 red supergiant stars have been discovered, and Betelgeuse is the most visible and closest one. It is 1.5 times the size of our Sun, has 126,000 solar luminosities, and can be observed from 548 light years away. Its surface temperature is 3,600 Kelvin, which makes it colder than our Sun. Visible light accounts for just around 13% of Betelgeuse's radiative energy. If human eyes could see light at all wavelengths, Betelgeuse would be the brightest star in our night sky, surpassing Sirius. Betelgeuse has a radius that is approximately 764 times that of our Sun. If this star were to replace our Sun in the solar system, it might extend beyond the asteroid belt and even Jupiter. This means that Earth, Mars, Mercury, and Venus would be completely absorbed. Betelgeuse loses around one solar mass every 10,000 years as a nebula surrounds the red star due to material being released unevenly from the star in all directions. Betelgeuse is surrounded by a cloud of material that is 250 times the size of the star, and the size of the nebula is 30 astronomical units, or 30 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. When a star is born, it is made of hydrogen, which fuses together owing to gravity at the star's core to produce helium in a nuclear explosion. A large amount of heat and light energy is normally generated during the fusion process. This energy flows to the star's surface and is expelled into space as a photon. The star's principal fuel, hydrogen, depletes as it ages and helium begins to mix with carbon. After the helium is depleted, neon will combine with carbon to form iron. When this occurs, the fusion of neon with iron absorbs rather than releases energy. When iron begins to fuse because there is nothing to counteract the star's extraordinarily powerful gravity, the star collapses in on itself, culminating in a supernova. One of nature's most powerful explosions, a supernova may provide enough energy to power 
10 billion suns. Depending on where they are in their stellar evolution, stars change hue throughout time, from the youngest, a hottest blue, to the older, cooler red types. The irregular fading of Betelgeuse in 2019 and 2020, followed by a brief return to its usual brilliance, drew a lot of attention. Astronomers believe it may indicate that the star is about to die. Betelgeuse has been the topic of significant inquiry since the 1st century BCE, but why did it fade quickly and in the opposite direction of its regular cycle? Betelgeuse was evicted from its home in the Orion and has been observed traveling at a speed of 30 kilometers per second across the interstellar medium. This speeding star produces a bow shock that spans more than four light years. Estimating the distances to red supergiant stars like Betelgeuse is difficult in astronomy. Determining Betelgeuse's real diameter has been problematic for a variety of reasons. Because Betelgeuse is a pulsing star, its diameter changes over time. Because of this, the star's optical emissions change hues and decrease with distance from the center, giving the star no discernible boundary. The circumstellar envelope, which is made up of material ejected from the star and emits and absorbs light, makes it difficult to define Betelgeuse's photosphere. The apparent size of the star varies with wavelength, making it difficult to compare observations. Measurements can be done at different wavelengths within the electromagnetic spectrum, and reported diameters can vary by up to 35%. Photos taken by the ground-based Very Large Telescope Interferometer and released in July 2009 by the European Southern Observatory revealed a gigantic gas plume stretching 30 astronomical units from the star into the surrounding atmosphere. This mass ejection, one of numerous that have happened in Betelgeuse's atmosphere, had a magnitude equal to the distance between the Sun and Neptune. At least six shells have been discovered circling Betelgeuse, according to astronomers. If the enigma of mass loss during the last stages of a star's existence could be understood, it could be feasible to identify the cause of the stellar giant's sad death. Aside from the star's diameter, there have been concerns voiced about the intricate dynamics of Betelgeuse's extensive atmosphere. Although it is uncertain how mass is lost, red supergiants play a critical role in the recycling of matter that forms galaxies. Because of developments in interferometric technologies, astronomers may be getting close to resolving this quandary. Astronomers used the Hubble telescope and other observatories to discover that the star rejected a major chunk of its visible surface in 2019 and caused a big surface mass ejection which had never been witnessed before in a star's activity. On a regular basis, our Sun ejects portions of its thin outer atmosphere, the corona, a phenomenon known as coronal mass ejection. These, however, are orders of magnitude weaker than the events observed on Betelgeuse. The surface mass ejection from Betelgeuse released 400 billion times more mass than a typical coronal mass ejection from our Sun. This explains why, by mid-February 2020, Betelgeuse had lost around three times as much brightness, from magnitude 0.5 to magnitude 1.7, after it began to fall sharply in October 2019. By February the 17th, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness had remained stable for more than 10 days, and the star had begun to brighten again. However, Betelgeuse appeared to have stopped dimming totally five days later, thereby concluding the episode. Given that there were no noticeable changes in the infrared on February the 24th, 2020, it appeared that the recent visual fading was unrelated to the upcoming core collapse. Other research that day determined that the dimming of the star was most likely caused by huge grains of circumstellar material obscuring it. Dust absorption is ruled out as having a significant impact in the study, which uses data at submillimeter wavelengths. The fading, on the other hand, appears to be caused by huge star spots. A closer look indicated that Betelgeuse's brilliance had increased significantly. 
For 100 years, astronomers have been studying oscillations in Betelgeuse's surface motions and brightness variations to follow this cycle. Its disturbance indicates the magnitude of the explosion. A theory offered by astronomers may now explain the disruption. As the photosphere renews, the star gradually regains strength. The star's normal cycle is being disturbed, and the interior is quivering like a broken bell. These findings give light on how red stars age and lose mass before exploding as supernovae, when the fuel in their nuclear fusion furnaces runs out. The degree of mass loss has a substantial impact on their fate. As a result, a significant loss event is not always a sign of a coming explosion. According to some who claim that a supergiant star's surface mass ejection has never been detected before, there is still something going on that we don't completely comprehend. We may be able to watch these unusual phenomena firsthand and use Hubble to differentiate surface properties, similar to how star formation is observed in real time. Because the ejected material's infrared light is still traveling away from the star, NASA's James Webb telescope may be able to spot it. Betelgeuse's fading has finally stopped, and it may reclaim its place as the sky's tenth brightest star. Despite its distance, Betelgeuse is one of the brightest stars in the sky shining 100,000 times brighter than our sun. Such brilliance comes at a cost. In order to match Betelgeuse's tremendous energy, fuel must be used quickly, hastening its destruction. Betelgeuse will then become extremely bright for a few weeks or months, perhaps approaching full moon brightness. When will this occur? Probably not in our lifetimes, but no one can predict when it will really happen. It may happen right now or in a million years. But we shouldn't worry about it. The Betelgeuse explosion will not destroy or even endanger life on Earth, since it will occur too far away. Astronomers believe that a supernova must be 50 light years away for it to be lethal to humans, and Betelgeuse is more than 10 times that distance away. Instead of endangerment, everyone on Earth will be treated to a spectacular view of an incredibly bright star in the night sky. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please like, subscribe, and click the notification icon to keep up to date on all the activity on the channel. See you next time. Thanks for watching.